And there's, there's Bill's Mustang. That's actually a cool shot, isn't it, Bobby? That is cool. That's cool. And there's Bobby making notes. Notes, notes, So notes. what we do in our inspections, we're moving to um, five-hour inspections and because that's what it takes. This one's a three-hour, the last one. Our new inspections are always going to be five hours. We take five hours. I'm like, we take five hours, we're charging for three. But Bill, know that you're the last that's one. Good. Bill, know that you're the last one to get the three-hour inspection, which takes five hours. So that's good news, right? All right, here's the details. Um, of more finds. All right, here we are in the engine bay on Bill 66 convertible. First things we see, obviously missing a radiator cap. The uh, radiator itself has seen better days. It's definitely a little on the rough side. Four blade fan, no fan shroud with what appears to be a two core radiator is it two? yep that's a two that's uh, not gonna suffice around here being this is now a local car out here in the desert that's not gonna cut it very well battery that's gonna need replacing obviously that battery was made in the mid to late 90's I haven't seen a Delco Freedom label like that in a while um, the Electro Knox. I don't know if any of you guys remember these. I know Joe said he used to put these in. Little emission, electronic emission control system that retards timing and vacuum reference. It's, uh, it's a hokey emissions thing from the 70s. Air cleaner lid. Seen better days, but it's original. It's all here. It's intact. It still has the original sticker. One thing I noticed about the hood on this car: the underside is blue. Then there's red overspray. I have a feeling that this car did not start its life out as a red GT. We will be delving deeper into that.